After Saturday's elimination games, the remaining eight teams who qualified for the quarterfinals continue their quest for the cup today amidst an appeal against the Mona Raiders for fielding more than three digital cup players, which is a breach of the tournament rules. However, despite the delay, matches continued with the Hayes G Knights defeating Apex Dust 8-6, while the second game between Surrey Hawks and Coney Texas Reds went beyond regulation time and into unlimited golden point time, but had to be called off on the 80th minute to allow for today's other scheduled finals to proceed. Hawks and Reds were tied at 8 all when the match was called off. The tournament match committee will then decide on the outcome of the game during the week. NCD Governor's Cup Tournament Technical Advisor Peter Weiss said despite a number of technical issues, his team was able to address and settle some of the complaints. We had uh, two issues yesterday. There were two appeals being made. Uh, the judiciary successfully dealt with one and we still have one more pending. So that one pending might possibly have, an, have a bearing on our draw this afternoon and we'll probably have a midweek game to, to cater for those teams that are currently under the judicial review. He said after this weekend's qualifiers, they will proceed to the quarter and semi-finals in the coming days to decide the two grand finalists for 2023. He also thanked his technical officials, the tournament committee and volunteers for making sure games run as per program. First time we actually brought the games back to the community. Uh, in previous, previous tournaments, we normally put it in one or two central locations and everybody come together. But this time we actually spread it out. So at the community level, everybody's happy because that's for the first time that I actually have the opportunity to support their local team right in front of the doorsteps. At the same, same time as well, there's some socioeconomic benefit with our local mothers and all this stuff. So in terms of social benefits, yes, there's social benefits. And in terms of the technical benefits to the players, yeah, we did have some few players who actually popped up. We have a mixture of uh, all intercity players. Terry Longwood, TV One Sports.